Kimberly, welcome back to my channel. Now guys, when you have a crush, it is never ever a bad thing to learn new and interesting ways to stand out from other people. And there are actually some really weird ways to impress people that actually work surprisingly well. So today guys, in this video, I'm going to share with you 11 of the weirdest ways to impress your crush. And I have a feeling that you guys are gonna be like emailing me and messaging me on Instagram, telling me that these things actually worked for you. guys are new, I'm currently doing a huge 600k giveaway. It's like the biggest giveaway on the internet right now. All you guys have to do to enter is be subscribed to my channel here on YouTube, write a comment on that video and like the video to enter. And I'm also doing a second giveaway that's like identical to that one over on Instagram. And all you have to do is be following me over there and write a comment and like this post. So now that you guys have done all of that, let's get into the super weird ways to impress your crush. Now the first super weird way to impress your crush is to play a kinesthetic game like Twister. Any type of game that involves hand-to-hand -hand touch or some kind of touch in general is really good for kind of sparking chemistry between you and your crush. There's no guarantee that chemistry will actually be there, but if there is some kind of chemistry, it's going to be very obvious if touch is involved. So if you're having a party, pulling out that game of Twister is actually not a bad idea at all. So yeah guys, like engage in a little kinesthetic game and you might just impress your crush. Second thing guys is that you really want to make sure that other people brag for you instead of you bragging about yourself. Hey guys, how's it going? Oh, Kim's here. Did you guys know she went to Harvard? Did you know she has a PhD? Did you know she can sing? So cool. It is going to look that much cooler because not only is it amazing, but like someone else brought it up. Like you were humble, you weren't bragging about yourself, but like it kind of gives you that like mysterious, super cool air. Three guys, this one's so weird. <laughs> it's slime. Now slime is one of my favorite things in the world. I like fluffy slime. I like pretty slime. I like romantic slime. I want to do slime videos on this channel because I think it'd be so fun. Okay guys, it's not just slime. It's like anything that you can touch or hold and bring with you into a social environment that makes somebody else want to touch or hold that thing. Holding something that other people would want to hold or touch like a Rubik's Cube or a Silly Putty, a Slinky or a Fidget Spinner, these things are all really trendy cool things that people want to try out with their hands. This one is especially good guys, like if you don't really talk to your crush, like maybe they're involved in your social group but you don't have like a, a talking relationship, this can kind of make you the center of attention with something that's like really crowd drawing and people pleasing. It can make them come over and talk to you and be kind of like a conversation starter. Next one, guys, is to use compliments to other people that you want people to think those same things about you. So for example, if I say something like, I have a major girl crush on Reese Witherspoon because she's so pretty and she's so nice. She's so cool. This has a tendency to make other people see you as those same things. It's just a psychological trick. So basically that person's gonna go home and say, wow, Kim is really pretty and so nice and so fun. And they're not really gonna know why they think these things. It's gonna be totally subconscious, but it's because you've planted those words in their head already. Five is kind of the flip side of the same one. So just as it's good to say like really positive things about other people, do not say negative things about people. Because in the same vein, people will see you in the same way. Like, oh, is Kim mean? They won't really know why they're thinking this about you, but it's because you've implanted that topic in their head. And now they actually subconsciously associate you with these words. So you definitely want to steer clear of that. Next guys is actually personalized things. So like, you know how everybody has kind of like their own brand and their own quirkiness and unique personality? The more your crush sees you as somebody who's like their own character, the better this is for your overall impression. It impresses them. If you're Annalise who loves unicorns, who plays the clarinet, this can leave a really good impression on someone better than if you just hadn't shared any of these things that you love. So this is really funny guys, like when I was in high school, there was this guy named Kevin and everybody knew that he loved, like was obsessed with John Deere. Like you know the tractor equipment? I'm Canadian obviously, but it was hilarious. Like this guy had a John Deere hat and a John Deere shirt and like everybody knew him as like Kevin and like one of his quirks was that he was obsessed with John Deere. Having a passion about something that's quirky and funny can actually really make a lasting impression and make people remember you. 
number seven is actually kind of weird. It's be willing to break rapport. And what this actually means is that in most conversations when you're just getting to know someone, people expect you to be like, oh yeah, that's great. I like this, I like that, and be super agreeable. But if you said to me, hey Kim, I love dogs. Do you like dogs too? And I have the guts to say, actually, I'm more of a cat person. That willingness to break the rapport shows a lot of confidence and actually that your conversations are gonna be a lot more interesting. So if you wanna impress your crush, this is a really good technique to use like in the first couple times that you talk to them. Eight guys, like be casual. This goes for life and like on social media too. Like if you always are completely dolled up to the nines and you use like filters on everything that you do, everything that you post, obviously nobody is really like that. So if you're always doing that, it's kind of a sign that you're not super confident. So if you want a weird way to impress your crush, like do something where you're completely makeup free and it doesn't have to be all the time, but it's actually really impressive to have moments where you're super vulnerable and you're not afraid to like show who you really are. And so something natural, casual, like you playing with a dog or out at a sporting event can really show like a more human side of yourself as well as that you have confidence to like not be dolled up every single second. The ninth way to weirdly impress your crush guys is so weird is actually to avoid earthy tones when you're getting dressed in the morning. I know we all love a little earth tone once in a while, but we're trying to impress your crush. You want to make an impression. And so if you want to do that, earth tones have a tendency to look a little bit more dated and can actually wash you out and make you really blend in with the crowd. So, and I even think like choosing one color and sticking to it, that can really make an impression because they see something pink walking down the hall, they know it's you. I think it's really good to choose a color and stick with this and this is kind of like tied into your personal branding a bit. We're almost at the end guys. Number 10 is actually called the self verification theory. So the idea behind this, and this is really a great way to impress people, is actually to confirm some of the theories they think about themselves by the way you treat them. So for example guys, if the person you like, like kind of self identifies as a bookworm or somebody who loves school, you're gonna wanna make sure that you repeat those views to them the next time you hang out. So you could tease them maybe a little, call them a bookworm, or just emphasize how great they are at school. When you feel like the people around you appreciate this same things that you appreciate, they are ultimately appreciating you. So always be like looking for clues about how somebody identifies themselves, like what, what niche do they see themselves as? And if they don't just come out with that information, you can always ask them like about themselves and see what they say. Okay, finally guys, the last super weird way to impress your crush, and I actually love this, I've been using this technique my whole life, is to actually wear a huge piece of statement jewelry. Not only is statement jewelry and bright colors and stuff proven to make you look more outgoing and confident and approachable, but big statement jewelry pieces are actually a great conversation starter. I mean, it's totally natural for someone to be like, oh, I love your necklace, or I love your earrings, or I love your giant bracelet or watch. I mean, it's just so easy to start conversations that way. So if you wanna look confident and cool and start up some conversations, definitely try wearing a huge accessory because they're super fun and they can get your crush's attention. All right guys, if you love that video, let me know in the comments down below, and of course, don't forget to enter the giveaway. It's gonna be super fun. I'm super excited to announce the winners on September 30th. And guys, I will see you all next week for another video all about relationships. Bye.